Hi, it's Kimberly B. And today you're going to be sewing with me. This is my first video following through a whole process of sewing a garment from beginning to end. So I'm sure I'll make lots of tweaks and improve things, but um, this is my first one. Um, also, my machine, my main sewing machine recently broke. So I literally just ran to Walmart and got a machine that was like $130 just so that I could keep sewing while my machine was in repair. I think I'm going to need to just go ahead and get a new one. But either way, here's the video, McCall 7319. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to reinforce the front of the bodice. You should already have your marking lines, um, so your fabric should be marked. We're just going to stitch to reinforce the front. Okay, the next thing you need to do is clip to the large circle. And I always like to look at the back of my fabric or the lighter colored side of the fabric. And you're just going to take some short scissors and you're just going to nip or clip to the center. Two, which is your skirt front and back. And you're going to gather between the small dots and you should have marked. And we are going to take the bodice front and one of the front back pieces. We're going to match up the notches and we're going to pin the gathered section to the bottom of the front bodice section. Okay, so we're going to match the one of your strings and you're going to kind of hold it down and pull it and then I try to do each side. Okay, so you should have nice even gathers. So you want the fullness to be pretty well distributed. I'm going to choose the narrowest zigzag stitch that I have because I still want there to be some stretch in this outfit because it's a knit fabric. Okay. So I always start in slightly when I'm sewing knit. Okay, so now we're gonna take piece three, the front overlay, and you should have it marked once again, and you're gonna follow the stitching line to mark. You're reinforcing this slight angle here. So you're gonna stitch along this line about an inch or so before the corner, and then you should have a slash mark, and you're gonna slash on that mark, okay? So we're gonna do that right now. Okay, so I've stitched on both of the reinforcement, reinforcing sides. So I've stitched here and then I've clipped to the markings. And next we are going to make a 5 8 inch narrow hem. Okay, so I have used a long machine, machine stitch just like when you're making your gathers and you just smooth it out. If there's any gathers that starts forming, you want to smooth it out. And now we're gonna form the narrow 5 8 inch And hem. then I took it and folded in, okay? So you're just gonna fold in along the seam, so the fold till it meets the seam line that you've made, and then fold again, and then you're gonna pin in place. And I already have this other piece done, okay? It's already pinned in place. So everything should be nice and smooth. You are going to, um, if you have a cover stitch machine on your serger, this would be the time to do that, um, but I don't. So we're gonna use the narrowest stitch again possible, the narrowest zigzag stitch. And I'm gonna start in, because it's a knit fabric, slightly into the fabric, not from the very edge. Okay, now you've finished stitching and you're gonna take that basting stitch that you put in to mark your hem depth. You're gonna find that stitch and you're just gonna pull it. Okay, so you're gonna press down both of these hems uh, or the edges on both of these pieces of fabric. Trim your thread. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our prepared bodice front that's attached to the skirt. You're gonna have it the wrong side up, okay? We're gonna be stitching the neckline. You're gonna do one side at a time. So take the prepared overlay, facing side towards the wrong side, so the right side towards the wrong side, and you're gonna lay this down. You should have your slit here, and you have a notch here. You're gonna go ahead and attach the notch and pin it down, 
and then pin the whole neckline down. Now, I'm sewing from the right side of the bodice. Here's the underside. This is the side you saw last. The reason I'm sewing from this side is because I can see where the notch, um, that dot is, that large dot you're supposed to be stopping at. I can see that. Okay, so this is that line that we made. You're gonna wanna make sure to sew onto that line because you don't want this to show to the outside of your fabric. So we have sewn the neckline and we have stopped at the dot on both sides. You did one side at a time. And now we are going to understitch the neckline and you're gonna sew this down right along this edge, right along this edge. Okay, so we have pressed the um, neckline down and then I also went ahead to the next step and you have your front and then the edge here has a marking. This is the self-facing. So I went ahead and pressed the whole edge of the self-facing and now we're gonna base the edges together and then go over it and we have to gather this whole length, okay? And I'm gonna do two lines of gathers um, because I feel like I needed to have a strong gather here. You wanna leave a good length of thread so that you can pull your threads to gather them. I'm going inside the seam allowance here. We're gonna pin the side of the front overlay to the side of the bodice and we're just gonna base this down okay so we're looking at the bodice front with the overlay right side up I've moved the right overlay out of the way and then I have gathered both sides as I showed you and now I'm pinning I'm gonna take the overlay from the left side and I'm gonna take it to the right side of the dress you should have two dots here Okay, this is the waistline, this is your bodice front here, and this is the skirt bottom here, this is the waist. So I'm gonna go ahead and pin the edge of my overlay to the two dots on the side, and then you're gonna take your gathers, um, so you're sorry, your stitch, gathering stitches, you're gonna take them, and you're gonna gather. Now we've already done this before, so you should be good on this. We're gonna gather this whole side, We're gonna pin it down in place and then we're gonna baste it. Then we're gonna take the right side and you're gonna drape it over the left and do the same exact thing on the other side. Okay, so we've got our gathers. We're just adjusting the fullness and I think we're good. Okay, that looks pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and start pinning it down. Okay, so I've pinned the front that we've completed onto my mannequin, just so you can see um, how it should look. To take the front and the back, and we're going to attach them along the sides, okay? Um, so you're gonna pin it down both sides. Now the one thing I wanna tell you is be mindful. You want your seams to be facing the same direction, and your overlays, those pieces that you put on, they have seams or hems as well. So you wanna make sure that they all line up when you do your pinning, okay? Make sure they line up. So here you can see these are gonna be seen, so you want them to line up. Okay, so now I have it on my smallest zigzag stitch again, and we've got 5 8 inch seam allowance and we're going to sew both sides. All right, so now we're gonna do the sleeves, or I'm sorry, the shoulders. So you should have already ironed your seams, finished them off, trimmed them, whatever you're gonna do, and press them towards the back of your dress. And now we're going to sew the shoulders. So the shoulder is here. You're just gonna open it up, and you're gonna open up the back so you've got the front and the back shoulder seams open and you're going to pin them together. 
across the top, making sure that the seams are lined up. So I'm gonna take the seams, make sure that they're lined up, and then I'm gonna check my seam just to make sure that when I finish sewing, everything is gonna fold up and line up correctly. And that looks good, see? Okay, so that's how it's gonna look once I sew it. It's gonna look like that. All right, so we gotta open it back up. And then we're just gonna sew it again. I'm gonna do, oh, for this, I'm sorry, I'm gonna do a straight stitch, 5 8 inch, because you don't need stretch at the shoulder at the top. Okay, so I went ahead and I pressed my sleeve seams open and flat and then I fold them closed made sure everything lined up perfectly and it does I put a label on in the interim as well so I would always know which was the front and the back and I'm gonna go ahead and pin my armhole edges together I'm a big pinner And then we're just going to, again, do a basting stitch. Remember that long stitch. Um, remember, sorry, I forgot to mention this. You're gonna wanna make sure that you pin your side seams down towards the back. So, okay, so we're gonna get our sleeves and you should have your notches and your markings. So you are going to ease stitch, which is that long basting kind of stitch that we've already done in between your notches. And you'll see that it's already going to start gathering for you a little bit. I'm not gonna put a second one in, but you're truly an E-stitch has two two rows of stitching, but I'm not gonna do that. Okay, so now we're gonna take our sleeve and we're gonna pin down the side, make sure the ends are even and the notches are even or lined up. Okay, so we've stitched the seam in the sleeve. We've surged to finish the edge. Now we're gonna use a long straight stitch, a loose one, a basting stitch to mark the depth of the hem so we need a one and a quarter, so we're gonna go ahead and put that in. Then we're going to fold down. Make sure everything is nice and smooth. And then we're gonna pin. <clears throat> Um, you're gonna zigzag stitch um, evenly around the whole way, that very small zigzag stitch. And when you're finished, you're gonna press your sleeve and it's going to look like this. Okay? So I'm gonna take this marking and find the first marking on my dress. Where is it? Okay, here we go starting to rub off now that I've been handling it so much. <clears throat> Pin it. Okay, so this is what the sleeve looks like after you've eased it in. So you can see there's slight, slight kind of puffing or puckering, very slight. But when you sew it, you're going to be making sure to ease it or smooth it kind of in as you sew. Okay, here is the finished dress. So I just wanted to give you guys a close-up of everything.